Welcome to this video about one of the Australia's most exciting infrastructure projects, the Sydney International Airport. Located in the heart of the Greater Sydney, this airport has been in the works for years and is set to revolutionize air travel in Australia. In this video, we will take a closer look at the Western Sydney International Airport, exploring its features, the timeline for completion and the potential impact it will have on the surrounding areas. Western Sydney International Airport also known as Western Sydney Airport or the Badgeries Creek Airport, is a new international airport currently under construction within the suburbs of Badgeries Creek, New South Wales, Australia. The airport is planned to have 24-hour and curfew-free operations and will have supplement Kingsford Smith Airport, which has reached capacity due to a legislated curfew and flight caps. The first stage of construction on the new airport began on 24 September 2018 and the first stage is expected to be completed and opened by December 2026. Thousands of jobs and opportunities for local businesses will be created. This airport is expected to be support almost 28,000 direct and indirect jobs by 2031, five years after the airport opens. Now we will discuss the history. The idea of building a second airport in Sydney was first raised in the 1940s but it was not until the 1980s that serious planning began. In 1986, the federal government established a joint study with the New South Wales government to investigate potential sites for a second airport. After several years of planning and consultation, in 1991, the federal government announced that the airport would be built at Badgeries Creek in Western Sydney. The project was approved by NSW government in 2015. Construction of the airport began in September 2018 with the first stage of the project expected to be completed by 2026. The airport is being built in stages with an initial capacity of 10 million passengers per year which is expected to increase to 82 million passengers per year by 2063. Now we will have a closer look on the benefits of this airport. The Western Sydney International Airport is expected to bring several benefits to the region, including economic growth. The airport is expected to create around 28,000 direct and indirect jobs during construction and operation and generate up to 15.6 billion in economic activity by 2050. This will provide a significant boost to the economy of Western Sydney, which has traditionally lagged behind other areas of the city. The second benefit is improved transport links. The airport will be served by a new motorway and rail line which will improve transport links between the Western Sydney and the rest of the city. This will make it easier for the people to access employment and education opportunities and for the businesses to transport goods and services. The third benefit offers is increased tourism. The airport will provide a new gateway for the international and domestic tourists helping to boost the tourism industry in Western Sydney and the wider region. Another benefit is reduced congestion. The airport will help to relieve pressure on Sydney's existing airport, which is nearing capacity, and reduce congestion on the city's roads and public transport network. Another key benefit is improved resilience. The airport will provide an alternative aviation hub in case of emergencies or disruptions at Sydney's existing airport, improving the resilience of the city's network. Another key benefit is innovation hub. Western Sydney International Airport has been designed as an innovation hub which will help to attract new businesses and industries to the Western Sydney, particularly in the areas of aerospace, defence and advanced manufacturing. The Western Sydney International Airport can be a problem-solving initiative. The airport is designed to address several challenges that Sydney and the wider region currently face, including capacity constraints at Sydney existing airport, poor transport links in Western Sydney, limited economic opportunities in Western Sydney, dependence on a single airport. Overall, the Western Sydney International Airport can be seen as a solution to several challenges facing Sydney and the wider region. By providing additional aviation capacity, improving transport links and generating new economic opportunity, the Western Sydney International Airport is expected to make a significant contribution to the region's development and growth. The Western Sydney International Airport project is a complex undertaking that involves multiple components including airport terminal, runways, air traffic tower, road and rail infrastructure, 
support facilities, environmental management. Now we will discuss these key elements one by one. Airport terminal. The airport terminal is the main building where passengers check in, go through the security and board their flights. The airport terminal is being designed to accommodate up to 10 million passengers per year initially with the capacity to expand to 82 million passengers per year by 2063. And the next key element is runways. The airport will have two parallel runways which will be capable of accommodating large aircrafts such as the Airbus A380 and Boeing 747. The next key element is air traffic control tower. The air traffic control tower is a critical component of any airport as it is responsible for directing aircraft in and around the airport. The Western International Airport Tower will be one of the tallest structures in Western Sydney, standing at 97 meters tall. The next key element is road and railway infrastructures. The airport will be served by a new motorway, Western International Airport Motorway, which will connect the airport with the M7 motorway and the rest of the Sydney's road network. The new rail line, the Western Sydney Airport Rail, will be built to connect the airport with Sydney's existing rail network. Another key element is sport facilities. The airport will also require a range of sport facilities including aircraft maintenance and servicing facilities, cargo facilities and ground handling facilities. The last element is environmental management. The airport project includes a range of environmental management measures including the establishment of a biodiversity offset area to protect local flora and fauna and commitment to be using a renewable energy sources. Now we will discuss the duration of the airport. The Western Sydney International Airport project has been underway since 2018 and is expected to be completed in two stages. Stage 1. The first stage of the project involves the construction of the airport terminal, the two parallel runways, the air traffic control tower and the associated road and rail infrastructure. This stage is expected to be completed by end of 2026. Stage 2. The second stage of the project involves the expansion of the airport to cater for up to 82 million passengers per year by 2063. The exact timing of this expansion will depend on future demand for the air travel and the capacity of the existing airport. However, planning for this stage of the project is already underway. As previously reported by CAPA, the consortium was recently selected to deliver the station's systems, trains, operations and maintenance contract for the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport line, including the construction of six metro stations with a total project cost of 11 billion Australian dollar, which is approximately 7.4 billion US dollar. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.